Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Uploaded Unfiltered, the podcast in which I, your host, Kryptonite, interviews another creator in regards to their journey thus far. We're going to talk about their beginnings, where they are now, and anything they have on their mind that they want to share with us. I'm all ears. Tonight, my guest is Leela Bobina. After beating breast cancer in 2016, Leah Bobina decided to do what she liked, entertain. First a YouTuber, then a Twitch streamer and content creator, she gained skills that helped her later on in life. She is now focusing on bettering her brand and growing an exclusive space for Bethesda junkies, sim addicts, and horror fans alike. Join me introducing my guest to the podcast this evening, Leela! What's up, Leela? How you doing? Um, hi, my name's Leela Bobina. How you doing? <laughs> Good. How is your night going so far? Busy, honestly, but good. That sounds about right. The life of a creator is usually a busy one. Especially when you <laughs> work a job, you know? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, a full time worker, full time creators out there know know that know that uh <laughs> that drama. Well, let me start here. What got you into streaming? What was the what's the beginning of Leela's journey look like? And then, if you don't mind, bringing us to uh, what you're doing right now. Okay, so back in my day, you know, we only had the YouTube's <laughs> right, and then this thing mm -hmm. came out mm -hmm. called Twitch. So first, I actually started off on YouTube, as you had said. I had just beat breast cancer, and I was like, what can I do? that I wanted to do that I can do, you know, because yeah. when you come off, you're not really, you know, spry or whatever. So mm -hmm. one of the things I always used to just love was to watch people play video games on YouTube. It was mm -hmm. just very entertaining. Games that I couldn't play myself, either I was too scared or I was not about to pay the monies or just learning of new games, seeing somebody play it. I just, I loved it. I loved YouTube. I loved content creation. And I was just like, well, that was one of the things on my bucket list and I'm still here. So I might as well kick this bucket. So hell yeah, we got ourselves one on computers <laughs> and uh, we started off with the Sims and God darn it, was it fun. Okay. Twitch came. So I was in a community called the Black Simmer, started mm -hmm. off by the ex -Mirror. She moved to Twitch and I was like, what's this Twitch thing I'm talking about? So I was looking. She's like, come on over here. I was like, I don't know. It seems complicated, right? But she's like, no, mm -hmm. just, just you'll learn it. We started from the bottom now we're here. I learned it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had a really, really, really good time. I met a lot of people. I watched the like black gamer community just come together. And I was like, oh my God, my people, we right. finally found each other. I knew it existed. You know I existed, <laughs> but we never could see. And then just like, it just grew all over the mm -hmm. world. I was like, this is amazing. Hell yeah. So like just being with that wave and just seeing so many people become great things, super awesome. It was um, yes. tear forming, you know? <laughs> so I had to find my niche, but once I found it, I fully enjoyed myself. Yes. I got to be a part of a lot of cool groups that did a lot of cool things. Yeah. That's awesome. And so what is, what is current uh, content life look like for you? What are you up to? Now um, I'm trying to focus on fundraising. Um, mm finishing games that are hard <laughs> and um just you know having fun with my community really growing it yeah i worked for um, with other people on other projects but i never really like thought about me and then when i did i was like i have a lot of work to do mm -hmm. so balancing that and then also like real life because like i said i was coming back from cancer it got kind of hard at times but that's like the whole finding a, a content schedule that works for you right. things are constantly changing and it is constantly a lot yes i agree it's crazy when you first start well when i first started content creation i also started on youtube and i didn't even i <laughs> made fun of streamers on the side like to myself <laughs> i didn't do it out loud like in a public forum but i was like what do they do who is watching these people play and then everybody I, and then one day I, I i got i saw somebody doing it and i was like oh that's what a stream can look like i want to do that and yeah here we are so let's do this Leela. let's go ahead and slide into our next section which is what does your current mindset look like in regards to your content right now or in regards to content in general where does your mind sit as far as that goes so me i'm looking out just concentrating on my long form content and getting that together because i'm going to be moving into short film soon Ooh. and i just need to get my youtube together um that's kind of what I've always wanted to do. Okay. So like I said, this journey has been long and everybody's journey is different. So mm -hmm. that's the thing I had to learn because one, you have to find out what you can do, but your life 
has to match that, which yes. we all know life be life in. <laughs> yes, yes, it does. So finding out that I can do what I want to do and just I just needed to take my time. Um, you know, everybody wants things fast, but one step at a time. So YouTube content. Yes. Moving into short film concentrating on what types of games I'm going to be on Twitch with and mm. making sure I finish games because I, I am low key a completionist, but I'm a variety streamer. So I tend to be everywhere. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun, though, because yeah. sometimes you're chilling. You want to play, you know, a Sims game and it's just, you know, doing whatever the heck the Sims are doing, which sometimes can be pretty right. ratchet and pretty gosh darn fun. And then sometimes you want to scream and cry and um, play a horror game. No, what? No. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah, we we'll can't get agree you there with one that. Day. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> no, to, to your point, like, I think, and it'll tell me if you're, if you're feeling this way. I feel like a lot of us who've been streaming for a while, especially us variety streamers, I am personally looking to not so much like niche down to a specific game because that's crazy yeah no. but maybe like a genre yeah concentrate, concentrate. i think that's that's kind of what i did i like had to just cut down like you go to a certain like certain websites you can just enter what you're interested in but i needed to like just focus on something yes i love puzzle games right do i want to stream puzzle games do i want to make content for puzzle games yes i like these games but do i want to focus on that game no everything i do doesn't have to be content that's rule number one my okay yeah. Everything you do does not have to be constant. Play games for yourself. Okay, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. playing Cyberpunk for me. Nice. It has been amazing. <laughs> Super <laughs> fun. Nobody needs to see that. It's just me. It's just me gaming for myself. Mm -hmm. Things like Starfield. That's 100% off stream because Starfield is... Oh, amazing. nice. This bar, <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Let me explain Bagelja. So, yes. that's actually a thing Sims say, right? It's older Sims. They go, Bagelja. <laughs> Um, we don't know what it means, but okay. I thought it was funny because it sounds like Bethesda. So I play a lot of Bethesda yeah. games. So we kind of just tied that together. I love that. So I definitely noticed you uh, starting to like tighten in the ropes as far as what games you play. And like, I think when I first found your channel, you were definitely playing a Bethesda game. It was probably Fallout. It was. It's 3. always Fallout. Yeah, it's always Fallout. And I'm like, <laughs> I've never beaten that game because um, it's, I don't want to. It's a long story. I played almost. I played all of three. Okay. The DLC came out, and I was like, "That's a lot. That's a lot of game right there." I don't know if I can. And I kind of fell off. I understand. But watching you play, Want the love back in your heart. It, it makes yes, like it makes me want to play it. But I know that that time commitment. I ain't. I ain't got it like that anymore. So I've been living vicariously through your playthrough. So I appreciate you sticking with all those games because I'm just like, oh, I didn't even know this was in here. Mm -hmm. I think that's why I love Bethesda games so much because there's just. If it's something under every nook and cranny and there's so many ways to play it. And that's why I play Fallout so many times because I find something new every time I find a new like way to go through things. Mm -hmm. And then there's so many types of builds you can make. Um, I got challenge to do an unarmed oh, <laughs> run. No. So no. yes, no, because no, those things are legendary though. Okay. Really? You start, so you have to start off, you won't get your buns beat. A, a yes. lot of bit at the beginning because you you little baby, but you 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 boost up with strength and you just be boxing whatever you can box. And then next thing you know, nobody can touch you for real. Are you serious? Why? You shot me. I don't even care. I'm right next to you. Pow! Your head's off your body. You <laughs> never know where you go with melee. Okay? okay. Okay. That does sound fun. I didn't know it got down like that. That does sound a little bit. RPGs are amazing when you play with all the mechanics that are placed. Yes. In the game. I, I agree. We're playing through Baldur's Gate right now, yes. and there is so much in that That's, game. It's done so well. It's oh so good. Oh my god! And it like it's still I don't know. It's just it, the the replayability. It's games like that oh, yeah. that make it worth a sixty seventy dollar game tag. Like if you want to drop a game, okay, drop a game. <laughs> All right, yes, absorb please. me. Make me late for my homework. Like, do these things. <laughs> Come with it. <laughs> yes, that is a key of a good game. It's like, if you made me forget my responsibilities, you did your job well. <laughs> I burnt the macaroni and cheese on the stove. Dang. But I won this battle, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm winning. I leveled up. So now what? I got another stat point. <laughs> Camera life. <laughs> oh, my God. Leela, I know, I know you've done a lot of things in your career thus far. 
I feel like you have seen opportunities. I don't want to say that not other people have seen, but you've placed yourself in spots where you can get those opportunities. Mm. So I am dying to know if there are any moments in your content career that stand out more than others that come to mind. Like if I was like, hey, tell me a story, Leela, about something that blew your mind in content creation. What would that look like? So, wow. I have to pick one moment. Okay. Uh, I mean, listen, you can pick six if you want. Okay. Like, so, <laughs> like, <open's> paper. <laughs> yes. Like, well, I'm glad you said that. One of my greatest, I think it was like heartwarming accomplishments was uh, working with St. Jude and going out to the summit. I got to see a new way that we could change the world. Yeah. Okay. okay. Entertaining for a cause was such an amazing thing to get, in, get into. Fundraising is just, Lots of hearts. And you never know who you're going to meet. You never know, you know, mm -hmm. what opportunities you're going to fall upon. And you never know who you're helping. Right. And it was, there was a lot of tears. It was a lot of great memories. That was the first year that Twitch raised a million dollars for St. Jude. Oh, wow. And then it's just gone up since then. Like, it's just been ridiculous. And it was like, wow, you know, look what we're doing. Like, that's cool. That's great. Hell yeah. <laughs> Man, like, you know that? I don't know why that didn't cross my mind, but you nailed it on the head. This is a, another way that we are able to change the world by doing what we love. Like, that's that's awesome. That's powerful. Yeah, it was, I don't know. And it was a lot of kids who, like, watch us. <laughs> not me. Yeah. I'm, I'm not for kids. Yeah, but <laughs> the other people that were there. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of children-friendly streamers there for the children. Yeah, uh, and for was, sure. It was grand. There were so many smiles and faces and, ah. Uh, how early did you how early in your career was that that was pretty early okay and in my opinion twitch was like i'm not gonna say brand new but it wasn't it wasn't what it is now um and i do want to say fundraising helped put twitch on the map a lot in the corporate senses yeah mm -hmm. but yeah i want to say that was like second to third year oh okay nice and at that point, I was still pretty little, but so I was a part of a bigger team. So I was still okay. pretty little though, but making teams to do uh, fundraising also, whoosh, so that means right. you get to do it with friends or with, you know, other people who are down for this cause. Exactly. There's so many teams out there doing amazing things. That is super dope. What other moments in your career have you uh, experienced that you would like to share? So there is a lot to think about when working with teams though. Mm -hmm. I've learned a lot about people in general. I will say when I came into this space, I was very naive into thinking like that one, you can trust a lot of people and that two people want to see the good for you. People will say, people will be a friend, but as soon as they have a moment to just disregard who they, I'm not going to say they know, but who they get from interactions with you, with the type of person you are, whether it has been online or in person, they'll spin it to however they want to do whatever they want. People will make content out of you. That's always <laughs> something that you have to learn. That I learned the hard way, but I don't know. I think I grew from it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's good to know starting off, but also this is a space where networking and making friends is like one of the biggest pluses and I'm not gonna say requirements, but requirements. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of necessary. Oh, man. <laughs> <The> sprinkle. <laughs> yeah. Just be careful with people, but also protect yourself just off break protect yourself from you know what you say what you know people what you let people know about you mm -hmm. there's a lot of bad people in this world <laughs> yes i was sitting there thinking like i i say i i'm not bragging but i quit my corporate job like i don't even know at this point two years but i didn't but i never experienced what you're talking about. i mean I, what you're talking about as far as people's intentions for you. I definitely experienced that in content creation outside of that, like at work, because I wasn't really trying to network and I wasn't trying to establish, uh, these relationships, I guess I never felt that like in that environment, but definitely in content creation, if you are not watching, if you're not ready for it, it will, it'll just creep up on you. I definitely will say that entertainment is different. So it do doesn't matter what like level you are in entertainment, that mindset, that go getter, I can use this person, however, is always going to be there. I want to say it's the same for actors in Hollywood, anything in entertainment, because, you know, all you need is, and you can shoot up from whatever. And if 
you know, right. that person can use you to, to take that step up, they will. I feel like if you're like in finance or like higher up in corporate life, because there's rules to corporate life, okay? There's rules mm -hmm. to a lot of things, but the higher up you get, you know, and it also depends on the career, true. people will still use you and bite you in the back. Right. <laughs> or in the that is true. <laughs> you know, did um, leasing, people were trying to steal sales from people, people will get close to you to just try to steal your clients, types of little little tiny weird thing oh my gosh um, i guess i'm just sheltered what the fuck <laughs> no um it, like it really is if it's just not a competitive field true then you're fine see i was gonna spin that in my head just to say i was just the best and nobody went to fuck with me there while i was go. there so. maybe you just were in a good place that people weren't jerk yeah it's always cool yeah no <laughs> that I happens not. there's I was, good people out there too no. not at this place <laughs> <laughs> no. I would say where it's at, but nah. Anyways, <laughs> Leela, I am a brand new content creator. Mm. I've been watching your content for the last two, three years. And I gained the the muster, the, the uh, confidence to ask you, what advice do you have for me? Like what, if any, advice would you give me as a new content creator, baby content creator looking Leela to baby. do this? Um, <laughs> first things first. And once again, I came into the space when it wasn't as fully developed as it is now. Find out what you want to do, because this space, you can spin it almost into anything. Like I said, I went to St. Jude. I realized fundraising, you can turn that into a whole thing. That's a whole another world that streaming can now touch. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can raise causes for almost anything. There could be a, you know, a local cause in your area that you want to stream for. Mm -hmm. You could turn this into uh, crafting. There's crafting people. They make stuff for the stores and then they go to cons and they sell them. So find out what you want to do. And if you are playing a game, look into those people who are playing similar types of games. Okay. True. Look at, I'm not going to say how they do it, but their their schedule per se right. are they changing it up mm -hmm. are they not people who stick with one type of game you gotta be really good at the game or really entertaining mm -hmm. okay if you're going to be versatile and you know pick a genre what games are you going to pick in that genre are you gonna go with story games are you gonna go with community games mm -hmm. be comfortable with talking in front of the camera which always comes from experience um, if you're a talker like me you're gonna have <laughs> an easier time picking up but it's still talking to yourself for a good amount of time even if you have a lot of people in sometimes people just sitting there watching they're doing whatever they're doing in their house they're talking to the baby mamas they're doing something and they can't <laughs> sit there and chat with you so you got to be still sitting and chatting and saying oh my god the monster got me whatever entertain yeah. them it is entertainment mm -hmm. you don't have to start off with the biggest most amazing gear okay when you start off mm -hmm. you're not gonna have that many people watching you relax Get some good camera clear, get you a nice light, get you a good mic, make sure your ca uh, your computer can handle the games that you're, you're trying to play or your console, if you're doing console gaming, make sure your capture card works. Test out everything before you go mm -hmm. and develop your little baby brand, okay? Sit back, <laughs> think of your little colors, your little mellow logo, or is it gonna be a little monster that you drew when you were four? Whatever it is, think about that, okay? Think about jokes yeah. that may go with that brand, okay? True. And one day at a time. Oh, and pick one social media at least. A lot of people say, I don't I want to do yeah. this, but I don't like social media. Sorry. You're going to have to grab one of them. Okay. The easiest would be Twitter. I'm oh, sorry. The easiest would be Instagram. Excuse me. Think so? Instagram has been, yes, it has been solid. It's just, it's something that wants to go every day. And not everybody mm. got everyday money. So, I mean, you know, everyday life. Right. Nobody got everyday. So, this is getting more into advance, but um, scheduling your posts. It's smart. Get that content calendar out, schedule them posts. This is schedule the stream, schedule the YouTube videos. <laughs> content calendars help so much. Yes, 100%. I wish I would have learned that early. Oh my God. We see, but we started when it wasn't. We didn't know. That's true. There was the no content background. calendar. Exactly. Right. It was That's what true. you doing today. True. I'm a stream. Exactly. I'm a, I'm a stream. I'm until... off today. <laughs> what's up, y'all? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> how so, what's up, boy? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, Wes. Never it knew it was. People were on. That is awesome. Yo, I feel like if I was new to this and I heard I that, yeah. that like there's so many nuggets there but again you have to be ready to hear that information you have to be looking for that information that is true as well it's out there, i'm just 
you know what? There is so many resources out there. I'm glad this is another one. Oh, share it with your friends, you know, make them make them listen. Leela, that was awesome. Appreciate the words of advice. And uh, where can the people find you on the internet? I'll be everywhere on the internet at Leela Bobina. You can find me on the Twitters, on the mm. Fabu, on the Tweet, of course. The YouTubes. Look at my YouTubes. All right. I put videos out there. Look at them. I'm on TikTok. Which I'm doing pretty good on now. I, I've noticed your uptick uh, yeah. in videos. So I want to so. say Twitch's uh, ability to now upload directly to it. Baby, that saved my life right now. That's great. I did not realize that. Yes. Oh, if you don't utilize oh. that. I need oh. to go. I've been doing it the long way. I'm going to have to and go. That's new, that's though, right? Been, that's like... It's new. It's been here like four or six months. Yeah, around there. Okay. That's, like, that's not too bad. That's but not too bad. I'm, I promise you it saves lives. Oh, my gosh. Because that's what stopped me before. It was just the, the steps that you had to take, and it would only upload through phone. I was like, "Baby, listen." <laughs> before we part ways for the the evening, mm -hmm. short films. I let this slide by. <laughs> and like, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I was like, "Hold on!" And then I was like, uh, "And then you said it again." What, what's that look like? What is, What is your desire? And are you gonna be just what is? It? I'm not gonna ask questions. Just what is? It? So. As you had said before, I'm really big into the horror horror, horror, horror. Um, I'm going to be making scary movies, oh, but we're going to do scary movies a little different because this is one of the biggest things I want to say. African-Americans have a lot of trauma tied to slavery, like a lot of it. Yes. But all of our horror movies do not have to come from that. We need more people making different types and they're, they're coming out, but I want to make mine. Mm -hmm. I want to start get some of our urban legends. I want to get some of our just, I want to make some, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Grab them somebody for scare the heck out of them, write a story about it. I don't know. But <laughs> we see what happens. I don't know. If I'm oh, in jail, that mind is your amazing. business. Okay. But <laughs> wow. Listen, I would support all your content. I'm not watching any, any oh, horror movies. Y'all hear the unsupport oh, right I, now? I do not fuck with horror movies. It's okay because he's going to be one of the dead people in the movies. He's going to get oh, gutted. Hey, I'll do it. Hey, if you let me die in the movie, it, and I, as long as I can like put blinders on so I have to see it, because that sounds terrifying. I don't know. I'm freaking. There's gonna be a whole but, bunch uh, of people is... around you, us leaning at you with the camera. You be alright. You right. You're probably gonna giggle half corner. the damn time. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's Leela. That is dope. I I like where your mind is. I like that you see your content as something that can change the world because I just creators have that ability. It's like it's tapping right in to your community. I love it. I love it. Ooh. Oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta do my call to action. <laughs> if you know anybody out there who can get any type of benefit from conversations like this and more, please do your due diligence and share this podcast with them. I would truly appreciate it. Uh, you can download it anywhere that you listen to podcasts because you know programs. You can do that one click of a button. It's been awesome. Other than that, leave me a review. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you didn't like. Maybe I will think about changing it. Probably not unless it makes sense. Other than that, Leela, thank you so much for doing the show with me. I truly appreciate it. Uh, I hope you had fun. I did. It was always good talking to you. I appreciate it. Other than that, protect your mental, keep creating content, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.